Hi, second graders. Can you believe it's already Thursday? Only two days left this week and then the weekend. Yay. Well, we've been talking about being a good leader since the beginning of school in our devotions, right? And we are almost done talking about it in devotions. We'll still talk about it because it's an important thing to think about all through life, really. We have said that a leader is loving and shows empathy. A leader is assertive. A leader is very diligent, right? And a leader shows lots of encouragement right leaders encourage people well today we're going to talk about our last letter R and what does it stand for everyone I can't hear you what I still can't hear you <laughs> of course I can't hear you respect right respect is so important it's important to respect others, and it's important to respect ourselves, too, right? So to honor yourself and others with your words, actions, and behavior is respect. What do you see these people in the pictures doing? Let's see. The kids are raising their hands. They're waiting patiently for the teacher to call on them. Is that respectful towards the teacher? Yeah, is it respectful towards the classmates too? It is, because we've all been there. We're raising our hand, we want to say the answer, and then somebody blurts it out. That's really frustrating, isn't it? So we need to show respect by raising our hands in class and waiting for the teacher to call on us. Let's see, how is this person showing respect? I'm not totally sure. Other than quietly working and not bothering anyone. That person reminds me of diligence, right? She's working really hard. Oh, I like this. How are these people showing respect? They're respecting the earth that God gave us and taking care of it, right? I really wanted Gordy, my dog to come and be in this video with me because I think we should talk also about respecting animals. Being good to animals and kind to them is being respectful, right? I wanted Gordy to, sh to just come and smile at you or something, but he didn't want to. He was in his kennel sleeping. I tried to get him to come out. I even got a little toy for him. He wouldn't come out. Well, I had a choice. I could drag him out of his kennel and make him be in this video, or I could respect him and let him sleep as he wanted to, right? So I let him sleep. Hopefully tomorrow he'll come and be in our Friday video. But I would like you to think about ways that you can show respect to other people today. There's so many opportunities for showing respect for people at home, for sure. And when we go to the store, what if you're walking out of the store and someone is coming behind you, not too far, maybe a little bit behind you. Can you hold the door for them? Yeah. If your parents, you stay by your parents, you know, I mean, that's really important. But it's really nice to hold the door for people at school, especially. You can show respect for people in so many ways, right? And don't forget to respect yourself. Why is it that we should respect everyone, even people we don't like? Do you remember? Because they're made in God's image, right? God made all of us in his image, and because of that, we should respect them. It's not always easy. So what do we need to do? I'll give you a hint. Pray. That's right. I'm going to pray for us right now. 
Dear Jesus, I thank you that you will help us respect others, even if it's really hard, because you want us to do that. You made everyone, so everyone we look at, everyone we meet is someone that you made, someone that you love. And so I pray that you would help us to be respectful towards all people and the earth that you've given us and the animals too. Thank you that you love us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. See you tomorrow on Friday. Bye-bye.